Hello guys, my name is Piers Katsis and today we're going to see how we can use output cache with authorizing points because they are not supported by default. So let's see that. I have a simple API with two controllers. One is the identity controller with a post and point that uh, we log in. The login request uh, has only a username for simplicity reasons and we get back a token. We will see that in action. And also I have a hero controller with two endpoints. Uh, one th for getting the hero by its ID and one for listing all the heroes. So let's say for example that in our application we can get a hero by the ID but to get all heroes we need to be logged in. So let's uh, decorate this endpoint with the authorize attribute. Authorize and let's remove that authorize from uh, here so that uh, the get hero is open to anonymous users and let's try to debug that and I'll also open postman and I'll try to get the ID with hero of one so I get uh, that back Peter Parker if we go to get all heroes it will say unauthorized but if I go to my login endpoint and I try to log in with uh, the username Spiros we get back a token so let's copy that let's go again to that call and to the auth let's add bear token let's paste the token and if we send it up again now we get uh, all the heroes peter parker bruce wayne like don stark so now let's uh, try to add the uh, output cas all we need to do is go to a backward program cs and uh, let's say build dot services dot add output cas and now we need them to register the cache middleware. I want it after my use uh, authentication and user authorization since we require authentication for uh, one of our endpoints. So I'll say app.useOutputCache. And now I'll go back to my hero controller and uh, I decorate that with the output cache attribute. So output cache. And let's define a duration. Let's say I don't know something very big. Okay, and let's do that for our other endpoint. Let's put uh, two breakpoints inside our endpoints and let's debug that again. I'll open postman. I'll try to get uh, the hero by the ID. And we hit that endpoint as you can see. So I'll hit continue. We will get our hero back. And now if I hit send again, we no longer hit that endpoint since our response is cast. If I try to do the same, uh, for the endpoint that lists all the heroes, I'll hit send, I'll hit my breakpoint, I'll hit continue, and then if I try to get them back, we will hit the breakpoint again because our response isn't cast. So let's see how we can change that. Now the output uh, cache works with policies, so uh, it has uh, by default the default policy. You can find the default policy in uh, Microsoft's documentation on uh, how to add policies and I'll put a link in the description below. But even if it wasn't there, since uh, the ASP framework and all CSRP is open source, uh, we can uh, see the code and uh, find it in there. So I have uh, opened uh, the source code from ASP and under middleware output casting source policies, you can see the default policy that uh, the one that you use by default and as you can see in the summary it says a policy which uh, caches unauthenticated get and head 200 responses so what we need to do is create the policy of our own so i'll say a new class and i'll name it auth cache policy so auth cache policy okay and uh, we need to implement the i output cache policy i output cache policy okay and there is some methods that uh, we need to implement now i'll go and copy and paste anything that's uh, inside the default policy okay let's fix uh, the name so authcast policy and authcast policy let's remove that let's import our namespaces and if we go to the attempt output casting method as you can see uh, that line of code as it says in the comments verify existence of authorization headers so if the authorization headers are not uh, null or empty or the user is authenticated it returns false so it doesn't uh, cast a response all we need to do is remove 
that check and in here there is uh, other checks as well for example that one uh, is for not caching responses that uh, set cookies this one for not caching uh, responses that uh, don't have a uh, 200 result etc you can do a lot of things but uh, now let's go and uh, register our policy so i'll go to my program and in here i will pass some options so options and i'll say options.add policy and we need to provide the name let's not create constants for simplicity let's say name of auth cast policy and uh, an instance of that policy so let's say auth cast policy dot instance and now the last thing we need to do back to our here controller let's say that in that endpoint we need to use that policy we just created so let's say policy name equals with name of authcast policy let's save that let's put a breakpoint let's try that again so i'll open postman i'll try to list all heroes it says unauthorized we need to log in again okay i'll copy the token put it back and we hit that breakpoint so i'll hit continue and i'll leave it there but now if i hit send again we don't hit that breakpoint anymore since the response is cast now be careful uh, because you don't want to, to cast that way something specific to a user or something that uses claims from the user because the response will be the same for all of them for example if i go and uh, log in with another user let's say spirus2 and i'll get that endpoint that token i'm sorry and i'll paste it here and i get back the cast response and that's okay for this endpoint because that's the behavior we want but imagine if we had an endpoint that lists all um, the movies that a user created so if i am logged in i need to get back the movies that i created so i'll hit that endpoint uh, i'll get my moves back but the moves will be cast so if another user try to get their movies they will get my movies and that's something you don't want so be careful with that and i think that uh, wraps it up so if you like this video please like and subscribe thank you for watching and have a nice one